Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to class. My name is Mrs. Naughton, and I'm an HISD teacher at River Oaks Elementary. And I'm so excited to be meeting with you again. And today, we are going to be talking about some words. I've told you once before that letters make words and words make sentences. And those sentences help with the great and amazing stories that we read every day. We're going to start with some high frequency words. And like I've said before, when we see high frequency words, we want to say them in a snap. So that's what we're going to do today. We are going to first identify some high frequency words. Then we are going to use them in sentences. So that in the future, when you see these words, you can say them in a snap. So we're going to see the words, say the words, and then use them in a sentence. That's step one. Then boys and girls, we're gonna go into rhyming and then talking about double consonants. Wow, what a lot for us to discover and talk about today. And I can't wait. Are you ready to review some of those high frequency words? Great. I'm ready to. Let me go ahead and get that prepared for you. Here, boys and girls, you will see some words. And when you see them, we're going to say them. We're just going to quickly review them, and then I'm going to go back and discuss each one. So really quickly, what I like to do is that I see the word, I say the word. If I don't know the word, then I'm going to repeat the word. So we're going to say it twice. So if you see it and say it, that's first. If you don't know it, then you'll repeat it. So we'll say them twice. If you know it, say it. All. If you don't know it, repeat it. All. Down. If you know it, you've said it. If you don't know it, repeat it with me. Down. Four. Four. Remember, see it, say it. If you don't know it, repeat it. From. From. Her, her, as soon as you see it, say it in a snap. Now, now. Saw, saw. Went, went. Very good. So the first thing we did is we see it, we say it, and if we don't know it, we repeat it. And that's why we said it twice. So now we're going to take a look at each word and talk a little bit about it. So let's go back to the beginning. All. Can you say that? All. Here, boys and girls, let's spell it. A L L. All right, A L L, all, all of us are very excited to be here. All together, we do our best work. Having you all here makes me so happy. Can you use all in a sentence? I'm happy to see you all. Very good. So today and every day, when you see A-L-L, -L, you're going to say all. All right, next one. Down. Down. Let's spell it. D-O-W-N. Let's spell it again. D-O-W-N. 
down, okay? I can say it in a sentence and say, look down at your feet. Go down the road to the store. He went down on his bicycle. Oh no, that's scary. Can you use down in a sentence? She fell down. Yeah, that is a sentence and it is kind of sad when someone falls down. All right, down. When you see D-O-W-N, you know it is down. Next one. Four. Four. All right, we see it, we say it, and spell it. F-O-U. R. Again, F-O-U-R. Now, boys and girls, this is a little tricky because it is not, I bought a gift for you. This is the number four. Can you say it again? Four. So, I might say it differently in a sentence. I can say, I have four cats. There are four boys. She has four books. This is the number four, F-O-U-R. Can you use it in a sentence? You have four stickers? Great job. All right, let's move on. From. From, all right, let's spell it, F-R-O-M. Spell it again, F-R-O-M, from. Yep, let's use that in a sentence, from. I got stickers from my teacher. We get books from the library. I get fruits and vegetables from the grocery store. Can you use the word from in a sentence? Good job. I get hugs from my family members. Very good. When you see F-R-O-M, you're going to say from. Her. Say it again, her. Let's go ahead and spell it, H-E-R, all right? H-E-R, her. That is her desk. Those are her books. Boys and girls, when I use the word her, I'm talking about a girl. All right, I would not say that um, I am him. I would say me for her, because I am a girl. So her backpack is on the floor. Her being a girl or a uh, person that is a woman. So when we use the word her, we wanna make sure that we are using it for a female, okay? So her, can you say it in a sentence? Good, that is her bicycle. If it's a boy, you could say him, okay? Or he, but this boys and girls is her. Very good. Next one we have is now, now. Let's spell it, N-O-W, now. Let's do it again, N. O W now. Right now, we are going over high frequency words. All right. Now, you might be learning about words. Right now, you have a book in mind that has the word now. 
Something that is happening right now is happening to you in this moment. Or put your things away now. Your parents might tell you that. So the word is now. Can you use it in a sentence? Now we're going to the next word. Saw. Again, saw. Let's spell it. S-A-W. S-A-W. Saw. All right, friends. I saw with my eyes. Okay? When we say saw, it's something we already did. Okay, I see with my eyes, I saw something yesterday. So saw means that you did it yesterday or it's in the past tense, okay? I saw a fish in, at the beach. I saw a lobster in a um, aquarium, all right? I saw bubbles in the sky. Someone was blowing bubbles today at recess and I saw them blowing those bubbles. So it's something that happened in the past. Remember, we see with our eyes something right now. I see desk, I see um, my computer. But when I saw something, I did it yesterday or in the past tense. Earlier today, I saw treats on my desk, all right? So that is saw today and every day. If you see S-A-W, you can say saw. Next, we have went. Went. Can you spell it with me? W-E-N-T. Once again, W-E-N-T. Went. I can use that in a sentence. I went to the store after school. I went to the nature center. We went to the um, movies. I was trying to think of something that I went to recently. We went to the farmer's market. Can you use went in a sentence? Good job. She went to the park. Well, friends, let's go over all of them one last time because remember that when you see sight words, you say them in a snap. When we see them, we say them. And the only way that we know them is that we practice them in a snap. So boys and girls, we're gonna do it twice again. See it, say it. If you don't know it, Repeat it. We're gonna go ahead and do that again twice. All, all, down, down, four, four. Remember that's the number four. From, from, her, her, now, now, saw, saw, went, went. Great job, boys and girls. What a fantastic job reviewing your sight words. Your brain is working hard today. And remember, anytime you see those words, you can say them in a snap. So boys and girls, let's talk about words some more. Let's talk about rhyming words. What does it mean? to rhyme. You're right. Rhyming words have the same ending sound or the same ending letters. So rhyming words, boys and girls, can have the same ending sound without having the same ending letters. So they can be rhyming without the same letters. 
but they have to have the same ending sound. That's what makes them rhyme. So when I'm reading rhyming books or reading a poem with rhymes, they usually will, well, they will have the same ending sound, not the beginning sound, the same ending sound, like hid, kid and did, hid, kid and did, have the same ending sound. So boys and girls, today we're going to investigate some words and you're gonna give me a thumbs up if they rhyme and a thumbs up if they, a thumbs down if they don't rhyme. So if they do, thumbs up. And if they don't, thumbs down. And we're gonna investigate when they rhyme and when they don't rhyme. So let's take a look at some of these words to see if they are rhyming words. And remember friends, rhyming words have the same ending sound or the same ending letters. So earlier, just now, I said hid, kid, and did. They have all of the same ending letters and the same ending sounds, id, all right? Well, let's try another one. Let's try this, read and read. Okay, read and read. And here I can, this is two ways how to spell read. All right, this read has an ed at the end. This has red ed. Just because they have the same ending letters does not mean they rhyme. Red and read do not rhyme. Even if I spell it this way, this is a different way, this is a different red, not read a book. This is a different red. red. This is read the color, and this is read or read the book. So many different words, friends. But the point is, just because these two, ED, have the same ending letters, that does not mean they rhyme. So let's see. What about, I'm gonna give you another example. Seen and lean. Now these ones do rhyme, but you say Miss Naughton, they don't have the same ending letters. Well, they have the same ending sounds. Seen and lean have the same ending sounds. They don't need the same letters. These do have the same letters and they don't rhyme. Oh my. So it's important to know that rhyming words have the same ending sounds or the same ending letters. So let's try another one. Let's try these. Bit and sit. Well, these have the same ending letters and the same ending sound. Bit, sit. Can you come up some more with some more words that rhyme with bit? and sit. Yes, it has the I-T. Kit. Bit. Sit. Kit. Knit. Can you think of more? That's a good one. Quit. All of these boys and girls have that I-T at the end. And they all rhyme. Boys and girls, this is called a word family. This word family is the I-T word family. This, boys and girls, is the I-D word family. You might be pretty familiar with the A. T word family. 
like bats and cats and sacks and mats. Can you think of more? <gasps> Bats. That is the A T word family. They all rhyme. They all have the same ending sound and the same ending letters. That, boys and girls, is a word family. I have here a little house of a word family house. And in my house, I have the AT word family. And you'll notice, like we're talking about, they all rhyme. Bat, cat, mat, chat, bat, hat. They have AT in the word family. And because they have the same ending sounds and the same ending letters, they happen to rhyme, like the ones we just looked at. So rhyming words, boys and girls, I want you to remember, have the same ending sound and sometimes have the same ending letters and they will be in a word family. But know, friends, that there are some words like um, red and read or red and read with the same ending letters that do not rhyme. Let's try. Box and bone. Do those rhyme? Box and bone. They do not rhyme. Okay, what about name and game? Name and game. Yes, those rhyme. Mm-hmm. What about miss and mice? Miss and mice. Nope, they do not rhyme. Okay, what about set and met? Set and met. Yes, they do. All right, friends. What about ball and call? Ball and call. Yes, they do. All right, what about desk and book? Desk and book. No, they do not rhyme. So friends, remember that rhyming words have the same ending sounds and sometimes the same ending letters. And right now, we're going to transition. And instead of talking about rhyming words, we're gonna talk about words that end with the double consonant. All right, so as we're talking about ending sounds, we're going to look at the double consonants at the end of a word. Hmm, what does that mean, Miss Naughton? Double consonants. Think long and hard and see what you think double consonants mean. Yep, you're right. Consonants are word, letters that are not A, E, I, O, or U, and sometimes Y. Consonants are any other letter that is not A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. And we are going to look at some double consonants. What does that mean? Let's take a look at some of those double consonants. Today, we're going to focus on double L and double S. This is double L, double S. We have double S is one of our consonants. Double Z. You'll notice, friends, double means two. Two L's, two S, two Z's. All right, and I'm gonna use these little marks like this to know that we are talking about two sets of consonants, double L, double S, double Z. 
Now the rule here with double consonants at the end of the word is usually a vowel will have the short vowel sound. Let's just review short vowel. Ah, eh, eh, ah, uh, and ah. Uh. Those are short vowel sounds. And the reason why I put this little curly hat, that represents short vowels. And this is what I mean. I mean that when I look at the word jazz, this is going to go ah, j, as, j, as. That double Z is only making one sound. It's two letters, but it's only making one sound. It not, it's not j as a z, j as a z. It's just jazz, okay? Or like this, pass, p, a, s. One sound, s, one s. So instead of pass, it's pass all the way. These two double consonants are only making one sound, and my vowel is typically a short vowel. Okay, so my double consonant at the end is one sound. And my vowel is going to be a short vowel, usually. Remember, there's always rule breakers. Unfortunately, there are always rule breakers when it comes to the English language. But let's take a look at um, another ZZ. Fuzz. Fuzz. Uh, z. Here, I have the short U sound, and I only hear one of those Zs, not fuzz, uh, z. it's fuzz, okay? Let's try another SS. Toss, t a s t a not toss, just one sound, toss. So friends, when I see double consonants, double consonants like LL, SS, ZZ, FF, GG, these boys and girls are double consonants. And when I see them at the end, they are only going to make one of those letter sounds, okay? J, as, jazz, p, as, pass, f, us, fuzz, t, os, toss. One more. M. Uh, muff, short U and one F sound. All right, friends, we did a lot today. We did so much. Let's review. First, we went over our high frequency words. When you see them, say them in a snap. Then, boys and girls, we talked about rhyming words. Rhyming words have the same ending sounds and sometimes the same ending letters. Hot and dot, those rhyme. Hot and hop does not rhyme. And then we talked about double consonant at the end of a word. Double consonants, boys and girls, means that I'm only going to say that sound once. F, F, G, G, L, L, S, S, Z, Z. I'm only going to say it once, okay? 
So like jazz, I only gonna, I'm only going to say jazz, not jazz. So friends, today and every day, I want you to be thinking about everything that is in our brain from this, from this lesson and see if it can help you become a better reader or a stronger reader, boys and girls. So grab your books, find a nice cozy place, and go ahead and enjoy your reading. I'll see you next time, friends. Goodbye.